All right, let's do this example. Uh, we've already done this one in the previous uh, video. So uh, let's do the first one and we will stop there. Uh, we see student uh, sees tiny bubbles clinging to the inside of an unopened plastic bottle full of carbonated soft drink. The student opens the bottle and hears a loud hiss of gas under pressure as gas under pressure escapes from the bottle. So here we don't have a solid uh, like we did in the other video. We had the sodium chloride deposit and we had the sugar in the rock candy. In this example, we've got a carbonated drink. What is that referring to? Carbonation. It's referring to the carbon dioxide gas that's added to the to that drink under pressure. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the effect of pressure and not the effect of temperature, because in this case, temperature isn't even mentioned at all. Okay, so unlike solids, unlike uh, matter in the condensed states, solids, uh, liquids are what we consider condensed states, states. Pressure does have a significant effect uh, on solubility of gases. Has a significant effect on the solubility of gases. The higher the pressure, the more soluble a gas is in a liquid. Okay? So, that is why in this case, when he had his soft drink, his Coca-Cola, or whatever it was, when he took the top off, unscrewed the top, all of that pressure was able to get come out. That was the rush of air that he heard. As the pressure inside of the bottle decreased, the carbon dioxide gas became less soluble, and so it comes out of solution, and a whole bunch of bubbles uh, rush out of solution because that gas is coming out. So our answer will have to reflect that. The bubbles will shrink, some may vanish, the bubbles will grow. So it won't be this one. The bubbles will grow and more may appear. It's going to be that one. As more carbon dioxide comes out of solution, the bubbles get larger, more appear. And as they get larger, they rise up to the top and pop. All right.